God is no respecter of persons. We hear a lot about equality, fairness. Well, you have in God one who is absolutely no respecter of persons. He will not give you an easy passage because you're one of the millionaires and billionaires. And he does not give you safe passage because you are the poor of the poor. When it comes to the judgment of God, your privilege and your position won't save you. And when it comes to the judgment of God, He will not spare you because you were despised and destitute. Some of us are, are prone to one or the other. We, th we, we think deep down, well, I mean, I, I am sort of an important person, and I know I've not been perfect, but someday when I stand before God, I've sure done my best, and I've tried really hard, and I've been an important person in the community, and I worked hard to get my degrees, and I was very faithful in my job, and I, I supported my family, and I've been a rather impressive person. Not enough. And then others are tempted to think, well, life has been just one unremitting sense of failure for me. And I, I didn't have the parents that other people had. I didn't have the opportunities other people had. And I've been sick and I've been uh, ill and I've been impoverished and I've never had these other things. And God's going to cut me a great big break. No. From the palace to the pits, the firstborn in every household, dead. And surely, surely you can see and I hope that you can feel the connection with your own life because there is an even more cataclysmic judgment that is coming. And God will not be a respecter of persons. You will not pass through that night safe and secure because of anything in your bank account or the degrees hanging on your walls or the number of difficult, sad circumstances in your life. It will not matter how high and mighty or how low and debased. You will not be safe without the blood. If the angel of the Lord passed through the camp of the Israelites... And only there did he find what he was looking for. He was not looking for people who were good enough to earn God's favor. He was not looking for people who had tried very hard. He was not looking for people who had really done a pretty good job with a poor hand that had been dealt them. He was looking for one thing. He was looking for the blood. He was looking for not just the sign of you know, blood itself, but what it represented. It was the, the faith to put your trust in a substitute. That's what the blood represented. Not just anybody can smear something on their doors, but it was the faith to hear what God had said, to take him at his word, to do as he commanded, and to say, my only hope this night to be spared from death is to have one die in my place and that substitute to hang over my household. 